hey everyone welcome back to my channel so we are in for a super fun treat today um i was recently in atlanta came across this store called sneaker doodle and it's essentially a store that allows you to create custom sneakers um they have all types of supplies and paint and i just thought it was really cool y'all i have been in my sneakerhead phase <laughs> for the past couple months okay i've been obsessed with sneakers and so and you know i'm a creative i'm a designer like let's design some shoes so um i opted not to do it at the store one because it was a little expensive it was like 200 dollars to participate and i also didn't have the time allotted so i was like hey let's see if i can do these at home i found these uh all white air force ones on Poshmark so I thrifted essentially thrifted these shoes uh, got them for like 30 or 40 dollars which is really cheap and then I got all my supplies um, from Amazon and then some of them I already had at the house so let's go ahead and get into this video uh, super excited for this so I want to quickly go over the materials that I have and what I'm going to be using today for this project so first I have masking tape okay i'm gonna be covering my shoe because as much as i think i'm a pro i am not <laughs> okay so masking tape is a must and it's just um i don't know what, how many inches this is but yeah just get you some masking tape just to make sure that you get paint on the space that you intend to get paint on i didn't have a small plate as you can see i started playing around with the paint and mixing it already but this is just really good um you don't want to dip your brush directly in the paint with my experience okay i have a pencil um this is for so i can practice drawing the design before i actually paint i have a nail file um this is really because and please excuse my nail <laughs> um the nail files because you know i don't really have a sharp edge i wish i had a toothpick to um get into like the small crevices but this was the sharpest smallest thing that i had so you gotta use what you gotta use you know um i have paint brushes here these um cotton pads i use to help clean the shoe beforehand i have my paint which i'll go into a little bit later but this is leather paint so it is for your shoes i also have paint markers um so i got the paint off of amazon paint markers i got from target this is acrylic paint that i already have these are also acrylic paint um i didn't want to buy white this is a finisher i didn't want to i needed to make this a little bit lighter it's a little bit too dark for what i was going for and i didn't want to wait for more to come from amazon so i just used what i had i don't know if i was supposed to do that but listen that's what we're going to do i have a cup here or two cups for water i have one for water and one for the acetone acetone is what i use to clean off the shoe they say you should clean wipe down the part that you plan to paint with acetone first just to kind of get any dirt and residue off of it and then you let it dry and paint on top of that i also have some q-tips here and that was really for the acetone for some of the smaller pieces in case the brushes didn't really work or this didn't work um then i have my laces and i have some jewels so this is just an example of what they look like but i have a whole bag here of options to choose from to put on my laces just to make it a little bit more custom so really really quick and easy um list i am gonna add all of these materials down below in the description for you guys that way you have an easy list to go out and get
right, y'all, this is what we have so far. I really like it. Um, at first, I was going to paint this little Nike sign black, but then after I, I painted it blue, I was like, I like the contrast of the white one and the black one. Like, it looks fire, y'all. And then I did paint this blue, which I really like. It's coming along. It's coming along. So I'm thinking, y'all, for the most versatility, I think I'm going to keep the tongue white. Because here's the thing. My thing is this. I can always paint this black. So I feel like let me rock it white because I know if I do it white, I can do white laces, I can do black laces, and I can do blue laces. If I paint it black, it, it's not going to look right if I do black laces, black on black. Like, I just know. So I like options. So for the sake of having the most options, I think I'm going to leave it white. But I will paint this. I just need to get the right type of tools so that I can really make this look nice because all my brushes and stuff are too big so i'm gonna paint the background black and then have the letters be blue so it matches the back of here but like it's looking fire y'all i like the black here black little detail and then all of this right here is about to be blue and i'm gonna paint we're gonna do y'all know how they got the red bottoms we're gonna do blue bottoms that's what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm feeling. And then I did get these, so these are my laces. They don't, they're not like a perfect match to the color, but it's fine, I'll work with it. But then I got these, you guys, and I'm actually really excited. So these are, so I'm gonna show you guys. So on, So these are the laces that came with the shoe. And so on the laces, it had the little Air Force One, like little symbol. And I did see these on Amazon in different colors. And I was like, oh, I could buy these. But then I saw these and I was like, drop that. Um, these are so cute. So they're the same kind of little lace thing, but they're just cuter. Like, look at, look at this, y'all. Oh, this, this a vibe. Look at that. That's a vibe. Like this is, these are so cute, and there's so many options. So now it's it's given. I need to continue designing these shoes instead of buying them. Like I'm really about to be on a hunt, thrift them out, and just paint them whatever color, and just rock them. Like at the end of the day, I'm a designer, and I like all my stuff custom anyway. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I. It's coming, but this right here, this little detail, that set it off. Cause I was definitely about to paint that black. And I was like, hold on. I actually like the, I like it. I like it. And this, like the back part look fire. So imagine black laces with the little, with the, I really, I think I like the chain the best. Like if I did black laces with the chain and then a little drip drip, I'm still going to add the drip drip. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous because it looks nice right now. I just feel like we're going to try it. We're going to try the drip drip and see if it really turns into a fire shoe. I don't know. I just have this vision in my head. I need to see it come to life. The good thing is I may, if I don't like it, I may be able to erase it and clean it off. So I'm probably going to try it on the white first before I paint the blue portion, but we'll see. But we're gonna draw it on with pencil first. And then I'm gonna paint the blue bottoms of this shoe. Y'all. Can y'all see the fight? Do y'all see the vision? Do y'all see the vision? Ugh. I can't wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait till this is done because I'm rocking them next week to the cookout. <laughs> I guess high off the of love, don't know how to behave.
they got me open. Now I want some more. Always down for all my nice to try. But I think I'm here to so all my niggas don't lie. Stick out my tongue and I'm about ready to hit this pretty, pretty bitty with persistence. Yo, I don't think y'all hit me. Brown sugar, babe. I guess high off of love. Don't know how to behave. So I wanted to just show you guys where we're at so far. We're actually almost done. So these are the shoes. Um, I really like them. Okay, don't look. I'm going to clean these up. But I like them. Honestly, these look like I bought them from the store. And love that. Um, really love the detailings. I had a specific vision in my head. And this is it. Now, what we're about to do, you guys... Um, I initially wanted this little drip drip type of design all over the shoe. However, this was my, me taking a stab at doing it and it looks a little crazy. Okay. All I had was paint. I don't think I had the right brushes. So I went ahead and picked up these, um, paint markers. These I got from Target. They're also on Amazon. Um, I did look on YouTube and these were the specific brand of markers that they were using to design the shoes. So I went and got these markers. I'm going to take the black one and try to clean it up a bit. I'm going to also take the blue marker and try to see if I can clean up this. I don't want to bring it too close, but just to, yeah, just to tidy up this although these markers look real fat so i don't know we'll see but i'm for sure gonna clean up this just to make it look a little bit bigger so that's what we're about to do right now um and then the only thing i have left to do is to put the laces on this the bottom of this shoe i painted blue it looks so good i just need to finish painting the bottom of this shoe and yeah i'm gonna show you guys the final look so it's the home stretch we are almost done Okay, so I just want, this is future Brittany. Um, I, I'm sure you guys have seen the finished product of my sneakers. I absolutely love them. I do just want to quickly give an update because I have worn them already. Um, just as like a warning, not really a warning, that sounds so bad. Um, I wore these shoes to a cookout. And, and there was dancing, we were in the grass, we were in the dirt, there was heels, there was all types of things. So I put these shoes to the test, okay? So what I will say is, you guys, um, for the most part, I'm very surprised the shoes held up. Well, not surprised. Like, I think this was a good test to see, to, just to test the level of paint, because I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about the quality of paint and how, like, if you 
rub against it, scrape against it, it doesn't, uh, the paint doesn't come off. And so I would say for the majority, uh, the shoe is still pretty much intact. I'm gonna show you guys both of them, um, the wear and tear, but I'm also gonna put in a video of like how hard I was going at this cookout. So what I would recommend is maybe, you know, these shoes are great for like everyday wear, but like probably like any other new sneaks, you probably don't wanna get them dirty. <laughs> like you, you wanna take it easy, okay? But let me show you what the shoes look like. All right, y'all. So I took the laces out. So as you can see, it's a little, it's a little scrape. Look, you know, it's not super terrible. So I'm, I'm gonna um, touch this up. But I just want to show you all just a little bit around the shoe. We got a little dirt here that we're gonna clean up. But the paint for, you know, and it, honestly, I put on multiple coats. So I think that's also like a good thing. Like you want to make sure you have multiple coats because it's gonna take a lot to. Um, like, I do have to fix that. Um, there's just like some little spots here, but the actual shoe itself held up pretty nicely. There's some, a little bit of some dirt spots, but again, majority, like the actual shoe itself, and here's, you know, something here, and this is the back. It's really just the black, um, the blue, and I don't think I put as many coats of the black because the, you know, black is black. The blue, I put like a thousand coats of the blue. So maybe that's a problem. And then you can see the bottom of the shoe, uh, the paint completely came off. And to be honest, I probably just put like one or two coats. Like the shoe was, the bottom of the shoe was lightly coated with paint. So what I would recommend you guys is that when you're doing your shoe, just for longevity, um, you might wanna have three or four coats per area like this section these blue sections i probably have like three or four coats of paint here okay um so yeah i would put three or four coats of each each section but for the most part it still looks good so i'm gonna go ahead and touch it up and let me just show you guys what this shoe looks like so again, we have the same thing. The back is a little scraped. This one, the bottom kind of came, I don't know what, child, I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. Well, I do know what I was doing. I'm gonna show y'all a video of what I was doing. But it, it doesn't look bad. It actually, it held up pretty well. Again, the bottom, I just need a lot more coats probably. But overall, the shoe held up pretty well. And this is after me going to a cookout. So I am about to just do a quick little cleanup and then we are gonna sh show the final product. Uh -huh.